<clears throat> Hello, uh, uh, today we'll talk about uh, uh, three architects. Uh, we'll start with Gaetano Pesce, an, an Italian uh, and designer architect. Uh, and uh, a very interesting uh, man and a very interesting artist and a, a very interesting architect. Uh, even the way he looked, uh, Gaetano Pesce. Uh, born on November 8th, 1939, and uh, that's why we talk about him, because today is November 8th, but 2023. So, he's an Italian architect and a design pioneer of the 20th century. Actually, I, I have this presentation, I had it for a few years, and I'm not sure if in the meantime, uh, Gaetano Pesce didn't die. I'm afraid he might have died. And in this case, I should talk at past sense, past sense, uh, uh, past sense, but uh, uh, past tense, sorry. Uh, Mr. Pesce was born in La Spezia in 1939, and he grew up in Padua and Florence. During his 50-year career, uh, Mr. Pesce, Pesce has worked as an architect, urban planner, and industrial designer. His outlook is considered broad and humanistic, and his work is characterized by an inventive use of color and materials, asserting connections between the individual and society through art, architecture, and design to reappraise mid-20th century modern life. Uh, Mr. Pesce studied architecture at the University of Venice with such notable teachers as Carlos Carpa and Ernesto Rogers. Between 1958 and 1963, Gaetano Pesce participated in Grupo N, an early collective concerned with program, programmed art pattern uh, after the Bauhaus. Since the 1960s, Gaetano Pesce has been known to relate art to the design of interiors, products, and architecture. The New York Times critic Herbert Michon described Mr. Pesce as the architectural equivalent of a brainstorm. Not uh, not a little thing. During his career that spans four decades with commissions in architecture, urban planning, interior exhibition, and industrial design, Gaetano Pesce, the architect and designer, has conceived public and private projects in the United States, Europe, Latin America, and Asia. In all his work, he expresses his guiding principle that modernism is less a style than a method for interpreting the present and hint hinting at the future in which individuality is preserved and celebrated. He taught architecture the Institut uh, d'Architecture et d'Etudes Urbaines in Strasbourg, France, for 28 years, at the Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh, at the Domus Academy in Milan, at the Polytechnic of Hong Kong, at the Architectural School of Sao Paulo, and at the Cooper Union in New York City, where he has made his home since 1980, after living in Venice, London, Helsinki, and Paris. Drawings by Gaetano Pesce, a self-portrait, Industrial Skins, 1983, Polychrome Uretain. Uh, here it is. Um, So we remember the description of Herbert Mouchon, the equivalent of a brainstorm. Ketano Pesce. Omaggio a tutte le madone, madone del mondo, 2016. I don't know if that man who holds the artworks like this is part of the artwork. Probably not. A very provocative uh, artist and architect and designer, Trasparenze, 2016. It looks like 
kind of a lady bear, no, not a man. Anyway, uh, it's hard to tell actually. Donna Contitolo, detail 2016, Getano Pesce. I'm not sure I pronounce uh, well. I, 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 I postponed to ch double check the pronunciation of his family name. Senza titolo. Without title. A large work. L'ospedale fa riflettere sul passato, 2016. I'm not going to read this, although Italians, Italian does sound nice. Something about Leonardo, I guess. Leonardo diceva che in futuro la gente non avrebbe e più mangiato carne. I don't know. Uh, Gaetano Pesce. And here is the text from 2015. Some design, because he was also, uh, and he you know, created uh, interesting design works in Determinazione Elastica 1965 Metal, Wood, and Magnet. This is more like art. Uh, Mano Didio Ashtray 1969, Plaster, Enamel, and Iron. Well, quite uh, convincing for not to smoke. Occhio okay. Didio, 1969, Vacu vacuum compressed ABC. I, I, do, I do suspect and I did suspect that there is a dark side in, in, in Gaetano Pesce. And we see now the dark side, uh, you know, represented by the, by the blood by the redness of blood for in Boca 1969 flexible polyurethane foam here again you know <laughs> dark connotations red connotations i don't know about that flower there but uh, anyway molo clamp 1970 light alloy alloy iron abs 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 and glass quite a large lamp. That was supposed to be a, a table lamp, a desk, desk lamp, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's huge. It was also very involved in theater. And we are going to see that too. Omaggio alla verde et, et a di consumer, 1971. And look at the materials, virgin wax, Aluminum, wood, and hard polyurethane made from ground rigid integral. Uh, he also designed chairs. We are going to see some of uh, Gaetano Pesce's uh, unusual uh, chairs, if we are to call this a chair. Carenza, wood and rigid polyurethane. Here it is. Uh, we talked about the library. Well, <laughs> Here there are some shelves designed by Gaetano Pesce with some books on them. Italy, the new domestic landscape, 1972, uh, stage design. Uh, I don't know exactly what this was about, but uh, rather dramatic.
for both our sweet, sweet, uh, sweet uh, table, bricks of glass, foam, and polyester uh, raisin, raisin, chair, fiberglass, and polyester raisin, casina, arca table, bricks of glass, foam, and polyester raisin. And what is this, uh, you know, uh, the last dinner? Um, uh, it's, it's theater, it's stage design done by him, chairs by him, interesting this chair, but I wouldn't sit on it very uh, happily. Reg armchair, 1972, regs and natural rubber. An interesting idea for, uh, you know, sustainable uh, armchairs. This one as well. Gaetano Pesce, Le futur est peut-être passé. The future is probably past, already past. I don't know. Again, it's possible some kind of a theater. He has a stage design. So he was very involved with all aspects of design. A sit down series, a sofa, which probably costs a, a lot. Uh, <laughs> If you intend to purchase a piece by Gaetano Pesce, it probably costs a lot because it's a one of a kind, an art, art, artist, uh, you know, uh, a piece. Portrait chair, interesting idea. You don't need someone to sit on it because already there is a face there staring at you um, from it. Another chair or you know a throne, kind of a throne, a ceremonial chairs chair. This is an interesting chair with someone sitting on it. <laughs> and hiding, I wouldn't be very relaxed if in, I was in a room with someone hiding. The, like this person is hiding there. It's the same chair probably, but, but the sides were brought down, downwards, or this one. Gaetano Pesce. San Sebastiano cabinet. Too bad Sebastian is not here to see a, a chair because, you know, Saint Sebastian was uh, a martyr, usually depicted with uh, arrows entering his body. And it's, you know, also has a function. You can open it, it, it has shelves. Seaweed chair, We'll arrive at buildings too very soon. Three land. Indeed, it, it is a tree land. Architecture. Now we'll see some buildings. Casa Elastica, 1963, but this is just a model. Plexiglass, iron sheet, and brass. An early work, uh, still, you know, uh, not so outrageous as, as some of the later works. Casa Elastica, I don't know why he called it so. Spazio Quadri Dimensionale, another... Here you still see the grid, but uh, he gets rid of it later. Restoration, late romantic villa, Sorrento. Uh, an idea, a project was not realized, but 
This is the model. Church of Solitude, 1974. In a way, a, a broken, a broken church. Uh, interesting is the insertions of fragments of a human face in many of the things he did. Chairs, and now we see even, you know, in this model for this uh, Church of Solitude. His project for Le Hal, Le Sal, uh, in Paris, Chicago Tribune competition, 1980. This is an interesting idea for the, the tower. You know, was the famous Chicago Tribune competition at the beginning of the 1920s, I think 1921. And he, uh, and then uh, in the 1980s, another competition was uh, launched with uh, you know, new towers, just an ideas competition. And this is what he submitted. Uh, and, uh, you know, we see here, you know, the symbols of, uh, of the media, of the consumers of the media, you know, the year. So you, you hear the news now. It's, uh, well, you read them on the newspaper, but it's about, uh, you know, intercepting um, Know, news and then this uh, face here maybe could symbolize the you know the effects of the news on on those who receive them and here i don't know these two hands it's it's a narrative <clears throat> it's a narrative facade a narr narrative architecture which has potential in my opinion i mean because this tower was meant to be designed for chicago tribune a newspaper so, you know, you could uh, think of various ways to uh, express the narrative behind what a, a newspaper is. Vertical Loft, 1982. Well, you know, Bjarke Ingels built a, a tower recently uh, in, uh, in Manhattan, in New York City, where you know, well, with different materials, but he has this uh, spiraling uh, stair uh, showing uh, on the on the facades of the of the tower. Harvard Shelter, nineteen eighty five. Maison des Enfants, Maison des Enfants, the children's house, nineteen eighty six, and for children. Seems to, seems to be indeed. It's a nice model. Though. Project for a bank, 1988. Now this is interesting. You know, imagine a bank, a tower, a bank looking like this. Would I leave my money in such a bank? Well, considering that, that I don't have any money, yes, I would. You know, you can put five dollars into such a bank too. Uh, but it's an interesting idea. To, but you know, it's an interesting idea also for you know possible uh, bank uh, thieves. You know, who with all those stairs on the on the outside of the building. They invite, uh, you know, climbing them. Another, I guess, I don't know, for the same function, another tower but was not built. The Sao Paulo Tower, 1988, Getano Pesce. This one also interesting, kind of interesting architecturally. But was not built.
Now, this building was built, an organic building, 1989, for Uguraya Yamamoto Inc., Osaka, Japan. Red, a red building. Osaka. With all those uh, plants uh, you see in in those uh, you know red uh, bases or vases or containers and then the the plants the flowers and this was done before the concern with the green uh, buildings or green uh, facades and so on. When was he built? This built 1989. Yeah, so 34 years ago. Getano Pesce, Osaka, Japan. Uh, I will stop here now because uh, uh, maybe we can talk a little bit. <laughs>